So let's look at Pro Tools 11 being used with the Avid 11 rack. So we'll go ahead and launch a session here in Pro Tools 11 and let's see what happens when it comes up. So you'll see I have this 11 rack number one that comes up first. So it looks like this is connected to that mini window you see up there in the left hand corner of the edit window. Then we get this 11 rack number two that comes up. And then it says it can't connect. So you can try to reconnect but it's not going to reconnect. So we'll just hit no on that. To me it looks like that number two is almost trying to open the on-screen editor, but I'm not certain if that's what it's supposed to mean. So we'll cancel out of that. So the bad news is that, of course, as most of us knew, the 11 rack on-screen editor is not available at this time in Pro Tools 11. We can see that here. We can come up to window and see that the 11 rack is grayed out. Now the 11 rack window is available in Pro Tools 10 still, and you can co-install Pro Tools 10.3.6 with Pro Tools 11. So it's not all bad news though. We do still have this mini window up here in the edit window that we can use to change rigs. Turn the volume up and down. Mute. Now if you don't see this mini window in your Pro Tools 11, you can open that over here in the edit window drop down. So just click this little button and just click 11 rack there. You can of course move this around if you want. I'm on Windows so I'll just hold down the control key and I'll just grab this and move it around. You can do that to the other elements in the edit window as well. So here in Pro Tools 11, we can go to setup and IO, and this is where you would choose your embed 11 settings from. You see we have the little E symbol on our input now, but for me embedded settings aren't working. You see I can record a little section here. Once I hit stop, there's a track, but I'm not getting any embedded settings here in Pro Tools 11. So yeah, if I right click, I don't have embedded settings. I don't have anything over in the clips bin. I don't have any rig settings in our little mini window. However, we do still have embedded rig settings in Pro Tools 10. And of course we have the 11 rack window as already mentioned. So the only documentation I've seen has mentioned that the 11 rack window is not available in Pro Tools 11. I haven't seen any actual documentation that said embedded rig settings would not be available. So if any of you guys are getting embedded rig settings in Pro Tools 11, Leave me a comment, I'd like to hear about it. I'm on Windows 8 by the way, so if someone else with Windows 8 or OS X or Windows 7 is getting embedded rig settings in Pro Tools 11, you know, please leave a comment. So other than those known issues, uh, the 11 rack is working here in Pro Tools 11. You know, we don't have the window, we already knew that. I'm not getting embedded rig settings, not sure if anyone else is yet, but we can use the 11 rack as an interface in Pro Tools 11. We can record, we can still adjust settings from the front panel, of course. So for now, it looks like we just need to wait to see what Avid's going to do about the on-screen editor. But until then, we can still use the editor in Pro Tools 10. And again, we can co-install Pro Tools 10.3.6 with Pro Tools 11. And one more thing I'll mention is, if you're loading up a template for the 11 rack or a demo song or something, and you're trying to record guitar and you're not getting input, the first thing to try will be to go up here to Setup, I.O. and make sure you go through this and default all your IOs. After you default the IO, you might have to change some of the ins and outs on the uh, channels you're trying to record on. So that's the end of this video of Pro Tools 11 using the 11 rack as an interface. And thanks for watching.